welcome back guys so in this video i'll be trying out amd's fsr3 frame generation in for spoken demo running on my steam deck using steam os i tried out this game a few days ago as well back then game was flickering a lot so first i'll show you how to fix this flickering issue it was caused due to the fsr3 update first just download proton experimental from steam open your steam library search for proton experimental select it then click on the settings cog here click on properties click on betas Click on this bar and select the first option, Bleeding Edge, Latest and Untested, DXVK, etc, etc. Close it. You can download for Spoken's demo for free from Steam Store. It includes the FSR3 frame generation update. Search for the game in your Steam library. Select it. Click on the settings cog here. Click on properties. Click on general. Under launch options, just add this line of text. I'll provide it in the description of the video. You can copy it from the description and paste it here. Then click on compatibility. Check this option. Force the use of a specific Steam Play compatibility tool and select Proton Experimental. We are ready to run the game. I'll switch to Steam Gaming Mode. At the moment, FSR3 frame generation does not support variable refresh rate. G-Sync or FreeSync does not work. AMD recommends enabling VSync. If your game's FPS is not close to your monitor's maximum refresh rate, you will notice some stutters caused due to the variable FPS. Start the demo. Just a heads up, when you launch the game, it will still flicker in the menu even after applying these tweaks. In order to fix the flickering, you need to go to game settings and then enable FSR3 frame generation from there. Application requires more than 60 GB of memory. Okay, yeah, it's flickering. If you are sensitive to display flickering, you can directly skip to the settings via the timestamp. Go to in-game setting, resolution set to 800p, maximum frame rate set to 60, in-game vSync enabled, graphics, basically everything set to low, I have set FSR3 to balance, FSR3 frame generation set to on, there you go, flickering got fixed. Some minor flickering here. This will be fixed upon restarting the game. I'll just quickly scroll down and show you all of the settings. Low effects disabled. There you go. Restart the game. I restarted the game and now it's completely fixed. No flickering at all. Show you the performance tab. Holy level set to 2. A lot hearing setting enable, refresh rate set to 60, frame rate limit set to off, this basically disable, SteamOS VSync, I am using in-game VSync, disabling SteamOS VSync will help in reducing the latency, VSync adds latency, AMD recommends using FSR3 frame generation in games that are already running at at least or higher than 60 FPS, this is to minimize the latency. Now this does not mean that you cannot use frame generation in games that are running at a lower FPS like 30 to 40, but in such cases the added interpolated frames won't result in a smooth animation every time. There will be some stutters here and there. Alright, there is a character, check out the input response. Looking around, not bad. Jump by pressing the A key. How my time? Frame pacing graph is erratic, reading is not accurate, FPS is within a range of 46 to 50. So the animation is sometimes smooth, sometimes it's a bit erratic, I am observing some chittering, sprint, GP load is around 90%. I tested this game on Steam Deck using Windows 11. The performance was abysmal. The game is running much better on Steam OS. Without frame generation, this game runs within an FPS range of 30 to 35. On Steam Deck. Looking for some more NPCs.
This should be easy enough. If only that were true of every battle. One of these things. Need an assist. Yup. Using the different magic abilities. The fast sword. Let me just cap the FPS to 40. Refresh it and FPS set to 40. The game is running so poorly. Forty FPS can completely fail. Didn't observe this effect in Immortals of AVM. When I applied the forty FPS cap, not sure what happened. Just disable it. Refresh it set to sixty. Frame rate limit set to off. I'm much better now. Now I'll engage in combat. There are a lot of non-playable characters here. Good to see frame generation working on Steam OS and for Spoken. But I'll be honest, 40 FPS using FSR3 frame generation is not the same as 40 FPS without frame generation enabled. As you can see, sometimes the animations are smooth, sometimes the animations are a bit jittery. I'll end the video here guys, I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.